I was really impressed with the capabilities of, of Remetra. Clearly, the uh, scientific instrumentation here, both the standard and the uh, and the developed in in this institution is of the highest uh, international level and also and so is the scientific work which is done in the in the area of graphene and I'm sure in in, in, in other areas as well so it is definitely on the highest international status uh, I think uh, Imatra can really help a lot and contribute a lot to the industrialization of graphene and nanomaterials in in Brazil it's definitely uh, Standardization is one of the things which, which, which impedes the fast spread of the new materials and the nanomaterials into, into industry. And I think it's, uh, it's the responsibility of Imetra to, to help in, uh, in this process. Um, well, I think it's uh, it's already we already passed this the, this question what graphene can do for, for us because graphene has been already used in many many products from composite materials to thermal management to electronics and I think that uh, the use of graphene is only going to be to 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 broaden in the future. Uh, any change in in industrial processes require. A lot of investment so I think we won't see a revolution in, in this area it will be a graduate a gradual process of in, in introducing graphene as well as any other new materials into into technology and they, it will change the technology gradual but I'm sure that uh, in in 10 years time we will use a lot of nanomaterials and graphene and other 2d materials in in our technology <laughs>